certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Well, good Saturday morning, mid-Michigan. We've got uh, some shower activity that we're keeping a close eye on. Now, we won't be talking about showers for everybody all day long, but there certainly will be at least a chance for a couple of folks to deal with one of these showers later. Let's talk about that right now in your sky tracker. We've got clouds over the area right now. We will maintain those cloudy chances as we go throughout the day. We, really, most of us should be in that cloud cover, but notice that rain there on the left-hand side of your screen that's moving down from basically uh, Lindington towards Grand Rapids and then into the Lansing and Jackson area areas. Those showers could possibly bring some very light activity towards the Alma or potentially Ithaca areas, places like Perry, Owasso, potentially over towards Flint, potentially up towards Chessening. As we go later into the uh, late morning and early afternoon hours, most of it though should stay out of these uh, out of mid Michigan to the south into the west. Here's a look over US 10 right now. We've got a little bit of wind out there, not too much to worry about. And again, the cloudier conditions and those temperatures have been warming up already. We're in the lower 40s to middle 40s, depending on where you are. We've got a little bit of warmer air blowing off the Saginaw Bay there for places like Saginaw and Cairo there in the middle to even almost upper 40s. Now through the hour by hour, we only warm into the lower 50s later on this afternoon. So overall, it is certainly going to be a cooler day for us. But notice those showers on the southwest uh, sides of mid Michigan. There. That's the lower left hand side of your screen. A few of those do try to move through parts of the area, but you'll notice places like the Tri Cities up towards the thumb in our northern counties. We're totally dry there. I expect most of mid Michigan to stay totally dry today. We could have a few isolated lake effect showers for the thumb later on this evening going into the overnight hours. Speaking of the overnight hours, we start to break away some of that cloud cover. Temperatures cooling down into the middle 30s for us there. Going into your Sunday should be all sunshine as we remain in those clear Clear skies. Temperatures still cool though. We still have northwest winds that are filtering in that cooler air. So going throughout the day, even though we have that sunshine, temperatures likely still only making it into the lower 50s, spending most of the day in the 40s, in fact. And we maintain the mostly clear skies going into Sunday night and Monday morning. And that's going to be a big player for us as we've got the cooler air still filtering in and now the clear skies. That is going to equate to some temperatures falling into the uh, lower 30s and upper 20s across mid Michigan. And that is going to result in a first widespread frost and freeze across the area. And looking ahead, thankfully, that should be the only night that we're dealing with that. We're back into the 40s and 50s as we go through the rest of the week. Temperatures up near the 60s as we go into your Tuesday and Wednesday, increasing clouds and some rain chances to end our work week. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.